yes, it is time we are doing vehicles in factious waste. So all of the rules for vehicles are in the core rule book. You need nothing extra but the core rule book to be using the vehicles, okay? Built into the game. Now, this is obviously a miniatures game where we're using individual miniatures on foot that has vehicles in it. So this is different from a vehicle game like Car Wars, like Dark Future, uh, like any of those things, okay? Uh, any of those that are you know, primarily vehicle based, these are primarily foot figure based games. However, however, we want to have foot figures driving around the board in cars, don't we? Because that's, that's just action, okay? We want that interaction to happen. So, we have vehicles in Factious Waste and they work like this. There are six different categories of vehicles. There are air junkers. So think um, swamp boats with those big propellers on the back. Those being powered around the desert, kicking out great big storms of dust behind them. Not particularly manoeuvrable, but fairly nippy. We've got buggies. Who, which are uh, sort of open-sided, open-topped, very nippy, um, very manoeuvrable. We have bikes, we have cars, we have trucks, uh, which can pull trailers, and we have tanks, which is basically anything with uh, tracks on it, although you can buy tracks for other models, but no, we'll, we'll deal with that later. But anyway, to start with, tanks are things that are armoured and have, uh, have tracks on them. Each vehicle to move needs a driver, and driver is a skill that you can give to your model on foot. You have to give them the general skill driver, and then you can pick specialist skills to drive each of the particular types, and then you can build on those with further specialist skills to drive them in particularly uh, interesting ways. So it's all about the character who's driving it and their abilities um, paired with the inherent abilities of uh, the vehicles. Vehicles drive at a number of speeds. So they start off as stationary, so speed zero. Um, then there are five speed brackets that they can move up to and you shift up each time. So you start off in zero, you can move up into one, into two, then into three, then into four, then into five, then back down to four, back down to three, back down to two, back down to one, back down to stationary and anywhere, you know, you know, up and down, anytime you like in between as long as you're only going one step up or one step down and this is like shifting gear essentially you're moving faster each time within each bracket you've got a minimum movement and a maximum movement so you have to move up to the minimum uh, you can move up to the maximum um, value and they can be quite large depending on the size and the speed of the vehicle you also have different options for cornering templates um, for each bracket Generally speaking, the slower that you are going, the tighter that you can turn, the more um, the more options for manoeuvring you have. And basically you just place the template in front of your vehicle there and then place it at the end and that's your turn, that's your corner uh, achieved. The faster that you're going, generally the bigger and broader curve is, although that's not always the case, some vehicles corner tighter at higher speeds and um, some vehicles it's just based on the vehicle itself, what, um, what choice of um, brackets, uh, or what choice of um, templates you can use when you're cornering. Um, then you can do things like swiping um, your opponents, so if you are uh, driving past within an inch you have the option to swipe uh, your opponent's vehicle and knock them off path and you can ram them as well so you can drive straight into them you can ram them and both of them move you can hit obstacles which cause you to veer off course and crash um, or to uh, move beyond them and be wrecked you can overestimate so if you're um, so let's say you're going at a fast speed uh, and you want to use a tighter turn than you would otherwise be able to in order to uh, make it around a vehicle. You can do so, but then you'll skid based on 
how much faster you're going than you should be. So there's there's quite a lot of mad tap, uh, you know, throwing vehicles all over the place and they go further than you think they're going to go or they go into things that you think they wouldn't going to smash into and um, then they veer off course and go into other things. So there is a lot of mayhem uh, when it comes to using vehicles. It's very fun. Um, and each vehicle, of course, has an impact value. So if you're hitting models on foot, they're taking damage um, and each vehicle is used as a platform for uh, other models within them. So although, you know, you've got a driver who have to uh, concentrate on their driving actions, so they're only uh, mostly, unless you've got skills otherwise, they're mostly only driving your vehicles around. You can have passengers who can still interact with other things that are going on uh, on the board. Uh, if you've got platforms like on the back of a truck, for example, Obviously, you can put figures there um, and they can uh, they can have fights on the backs of uh, vehicles and trailers. Um, there's rules for throwing people off uh, off moving vehicles. There's rules for jumping between um, moving vehicles that are really just the basic rules, but with a few extra uh, modifiers and penalties and conditions um, added into them. Uh, and you can stick uh, weaponry emplacements on your vehicle. So each vehicle has a front, two sides, a top, a rear, um, and you can mount uh, missile launchers and you can mount big bumpers um, and you can mount harpoon cannons. Um, and then there are specialist uh, upgrades. I mentioned giving um, other models tank tracks. You can do that. Uh, you can add extra armor to them. You can reinforce bits of them. You can put spikes on bits of them. You can increase their capacity. You can increase their towing capacity. Um, so you can really go to town with customizing and modifying your vehicles um, as much as you like, which is, let's face it, that's the fun bit. Now, there is one other thing that you can do with vehicles because obviously we're a bit restricted on uh, a normal board. A normal board is three foot by three foot. If you're going to use vehicles, probably go up to four foot by four foot because you're going to need a bit of more space for them to uh, be moving around. But we want to have proper full on car chases, right? OK, for a proper full on car chase, there is an entirely separate scenario. It has the same rules generally, but it's an entirely separate scenario called a death chase. And in a death chase, you have a lead vehicle, which is positioned at the center of a larger board. And then you have a number of following vehicles that are placed at different intervals across the board. Then you place your terrain. And each turn, the vehicles will move up and down the line, changing their relationship to each other, changing their angles slightly. It, again, it's all figure based, really. So uh, the, the moving vehicles are basically moving platforms for your troops to be jumping in and out of, shooting from, maneuvering around, shouting at, whatever else they need to do. <laughs> um, and then there's an extra turn or an extra um, action that takes place at the beginning of the turn where any vehicle which isn't facing directly towards the forward edge of the board gets shunted and all of your terrain gets shunted on a rolling road kind of principle so that you just the the terrain just keeps going by as your vehicles carry on going um, and then the game ends when one of the vehicles exits off the forward uh, edge of the board so that's a much more uh, transient much more energetic um, uh, way for doing um, car chases and, and big sort of Mad Max action sequences um, on the board. Uh, we'll have to play one, I'll show, I'll show you how it works. But that's how, generally, that's how vehicles are in factious waste. They are based on the abilities of the people driving them and the abilities of the cars themselves. They operate within the same world as the models on foot, so there's always interaction between the models on foot and the models in vehicles, um, except if you're playing in a death chase. Um, but even then, it's all based on the relationships of the models within the vehicles, shooting at each other, jumping from vehicle to vehicle. Uh, it's never entirely about the vehicles themselves moving around and shooting. It's always based on the characters inside of the vehicles um, performing outrageous stunts, which is what you want to see in an action film, right? So I recommend it. Have a go. It's a lot of fun. 
um, hopefully I'll get to show you how it works at a, at a show sometime um, or we'll do a video with a we'll set up when when I do turning films into um, into narrative arcs we'll do some Mad Maxes we'll set up some we'll set up some Mad Max chases and then we'll show you how it works but I hope that gives you a general overview that's how vehicles work in factious ways it's based on templates and speed but far more than anything else it's based on models within the vehicles and their interactions with each other still so that concludes this uh, general overview of the Factious Waste game system. I hope you found that uh, interesting, not too long-winded, not too vague still. If you've got any questions, ask me, because I'm sure there'll be loads of stuff that I haven't covered, uh, and I do want to help you to understand how this, how this game works, um, and you can help me to uh, explain it a bit more clearly, perhaps. Um, I'll be trying to demo this at a few shows in the future, uh, or if you've got a club near you that wants to uh, see how this works, I can come and I can do a day of gaming uh, with you and we can explore uh, how this works. Um, I'm hoping to do some more videos in the future. I say I'll do those videos on turning specific films into, um, into factious waste uh, narrative arcs. Um, we'll have a look at some um, war bands that I've built or some posses that I've built based on uh, models that I like and then we've got two more books that are hopefully coming out uh, this time next year if not slightly before um, which will be uh, two environment books so there'll be uh, an outworld wasteland environment book and an urban book uh, which will look at particular uh, features of of the urban or the, the wasteland landscape and the way that models can specifically interact with those particular features along with ideas for more uh, scenarios and narratives and game ideas and uh, things to add um, no, complexity, intricacy let's say, intricacy uh, into your game. So um, I'll let you know when those happen but join our uh, Factious Waste Facebook group for updates um, and uh, subscribe to our newsletter and then you'll know when new stuff comes out and I'll be putting the FAQs and the erratas and uh, answering any questions that arise within that context. Uh, so thank you for joining me for this, uh, for this short series. I shall see you again real soon.